Hi there, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Out of Quebec, Canada, Gaetan Boucher, a tremendous sprinter in the 70s and 80s, right behind Eric Hyden all the way, and when Eric was done, Gaetan came to the forefront, and this was his finest hour, the 1,000 meter in Sarajevo at the Zetra Arena, and Gaetan had to beat Sergei Kolebnikov, the dominant, just superpower um, from Russia, just a huge guy, great technique, and very dominant in 1,500, and Gaetan skated after him in this race and had to come up with something, and he did so. It was magic. It was a magical race for Gaetan. And Gaetan, another thing we can learn from Gaetan is he's a multi-sport athlete, played hockey, short track, you know, didn't just skate long track, so if you're an up-and-coming speed skater, it's always good to broaden your, your diversity as far as your skill set, so he did that as well, and also resilient. Gaetan had broken his ankle in 1983. After Haydn quit in 80, Gaetan was winning world championships, broke his ankle in 83. People not sure if he'd make a full comeback. Well, he certainly quieted down the crowd in this Olympics where he won two gold medals and one bronze. Here's his 1,000 meter, and so I just want to point out a couple things technically about it, but he's such a dynamic skater. Let's just look at this as he opens. Very disciplined technique. Excellent power into the ice. Very dynamic and clean. Really moves with that lead skate very well. And his lines are impeccably good. Not a big guy. 5'7", you know, 157. Uh, that's about 1.7 meters, 71 kilograms. So not a big guy, but just really muscular legs. And look at the hip... Flexibility skaters is a huge thing, so watch his lateral flexibility here. Just really good. That can really open up and get a lot out of that skate. Meanwhile, guess where his head is? He's over this, so he's another one of those guys who can get a lot out of the skate. He's pushing on. Meanwhile, be early to the skate he's going to. So moving with that lead, even on the opener in 1,000, getting that nice C, and a lot of pressure into the ice. So just you can just see him coming down on that pressure so clean, moving forward. Beautiful. So good opener here. Getting a lot out of that second turn. Let's watch his exit. Again, watch how he, and the best do this all the time, watch how he just lets that skate kind of curl that means he's not staying with it if it were direct to the ice the whole time he'd say i gotta get everything out of this no he lets it go why because he needs to move with this first straightaway stroke and he does so so well watch this right throwing himself over and i say that term on purpose he watch he throws himself over that skate it's it's a toss on purpose so very dynamic use of upper body for Gaetan and just excellent power into the ice so terrific exit and look at the power down on on into the ice very clean technique great technician and so much power especially for somewhat of a smaller guy I mean compared to Klebby he's he's about 70 pounds lighter and about four inches shorter Once again, we see that key technique in the straightaway, very clean, early on the skate. Excellent lap. 28-3, and he had to go under 116 to beat Kolebnikov. And this is where he won the race. Gaetan had a tremendously strong last lap, especially for outdoor ice and having last outer. Just really, really came through here. Absolutely critical. Super strong, all the way through the line. And he knows it. Olympic champion, 115.8. Long time coming for Gaetan. Just a great champion and, and has several things we can learn from. Resilience of mind, you know, through so many Olympics he skated and did so well for so long through injuries and other things. And also just a fantastic skater. His turns are unbelievable. And I wanted to show you just one quick thing about his turn. 
because it's very unique to him. And this is it. Watch. Look where he is relative to the snow lane. In those days they had snow lanes. He is so far in over the snow lane. That means he's getting tons and tons of pressure down into the ice from his hips and his glutes. And lateral compression, we've talked about that, extremely good. And just as soon as this arm is here, he's pressurizing that skate. So very early pressure and great drive through. So just amazing, very unique, almost like Hot Chief there, how he's way in on that skate and his head is inside the snow lane. That gives him early, early pressure, early purchase on this hip and that skate does that extremely well better than anybody. So the great Gaetan Boucher today, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, lots of French Canadians stand on his shoulders. He was a pioneer. And uh, you know, Laurent Dubreuil, friends of Gaetan. And uh, so many, many came after him and he was just such a great skater to watch. I'll see you next time in Speed Skating Deconstructed, what makes a skater great.